Hey guys, so today we're going to be talking about cavity walls. So I'm going to design three different types of cavity wall and explain how they're constructed and what the differences are really. Right then, so first of all, this is a traditional build wall um, where you've got brickwork and blockwork and this is full fill cavity <coughs> with blown in wool or polystyrene beads. So this is the external wall. And then you've got your cavity full of insulation. Then you've got your block wall. And then you've got you in your living room on the inside of the property. This is a traditional wall again, but this time instead of full fill cavity, you've got sheet insulation <coughs> with a minimum of a 50 mil clear cavity. So you've got a completely clear cavity here. And you've got your external brick wall, your cavity, your insulation, then your internal block wall, which is the structural wall. And then yet again, this is you in your living room. And then this one <coughs> is a timber frame property. So external brick wall, you've got a clear cavity. And then you've got your timber frame. And at this property, the insulation is inside the timber frame. And then yet again, this is you in your living room. And then to finish off, this is another timber frame property, but instead of the, uh, the panels being insulated, you've got sheet insulation installed to the, um, to the frame. <coughs> They've got your external brickwork, your clear cavity, minimum 50 millimeters, and then you've got your insulation and your timber frame. And then this is you in your living room. And yeah, that's four different types of cavity wall. So a big question that we get asked is what happens to the brickwork when it's out of tolerance? Um, so I could maybe explain on these four different types of cavity wall what would happen. So on the full fill cavity, um, say there's a big bump in the brickwork, yeah? This is the bump and Orlando's come along with his level, yeah? To my level. I put it on and I've gone, oh, massive bump in this brickwork. So what they would do is quite literally knock this brickwork down where the deviation is or they might just knock the whole elevation down because it's going to be difficult to um, make it look right you know you're going to have inconsistencies in colors um, if you only like patch repair it right so obviously if we've knocked down this brickwork Obviously, all this insulation is going to go flying everywhere. So that needs to be, you know, hoovered up or whatever they do. They need to sort that all out. So all this insulation is going to be out. But you're still left with this block wall. So it hasn't affected you inside, yeah? So you can still go about your daily business. You can still be inside in your living room, you know, sitting down, having, having your dinner. Um and having this wall knocked down hasn't really affected you, okay? Um, with this property where we've got sheet insulation, much, um, it's a lot better, I'd say, for the developer. So they'd have to knock down this brick brickwork. Boom, 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 boom. This um, insulation is attached to the blockwork, so you haven't got the issue with the cavity fill and you might be able to keep some of this. Um, it's still a massive like job, don't get me wrong. I'm making it sound simple, but yet again, inside your property, you can still, you know, you can still sit down and have your dinner um, without any issues. And basically it's the same for timber frame. Timber frame is probably the best uh, one of the best options for if you're gonna have brickwork knocked down, you just knock all this down It hasn't affected the timber frame. So you'll be happy sat inside Doing whatever you're doing Without it affecting you So a lot of people think that when brickwork needs to be knocked down um, Or when we find these issues with brickwork tolerances that the whole house needs to be knocked down But it doesn't I've just shown you you need to, all you need to do is knock down that external skin, right? Usually 90, 90% of the time, 99% of the time, um, this internal 
wall will not need to be touched. It's usually just the external skin. Um, and yeah, that's how to explain cavity walls in Minecraft. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you later. Peace.